Previously on Delos, we go on our first of many hikes in St. Helena, get back into the swing of diving, and take over the local radio show on the island. Here he comes, Senior Brady. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so happy the water's not freezing. <laughs> How's it, guys? How you guys doing? Good. Hello. Exploring St. Helena by foot is cool. But to see more of this epic island, we needed some sort of mechanical transportation. Hey babe, wanna go for a ride? <laughs> but first, we decided to fill our bellies with some street food. Fish cakes and chips. Nickel. Yum. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're off of a yacht. What's your name? Michael. Mike's Magic's name. All right. That's my that's my name. Mike's ah, Munchies. Mike's Munchies. <laughs> and so I've gotten a curry wrap. Yeah. And what do you what did you put in that curry wrap? Uh, just a, just a onion, cabbage, and a medium curry powder. Mm. Okay? And as a sauce, just like whatever my sauce. And some chicken. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't give you the whole recipe. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to give it, keep the secret. Freaking <laughs> yeah. good, man. Look at our food, babies. Did you guys have the curry wrap? Oh, yes. How good was that? So, I had to save something. I think I'm gonna get another one just for the road. <laughs> we got the herb chicken sando too. That was really, really good too. Ooh. Herb chicken. I'm gonna get another one. We're gonna go for an adventure. So nice. Woo! So what's the plan? Where are we going? Where do you wanna go? Oh, I wanna go to see the airport. I really wanna see the airport. It's such a that. random Let's place there. Go ahead, get in. Get in. <laughs> I will catch it right now. Uh, if you yeah. don't catch it, I won't go up the half hour one. Yeah. These close half past uh, five o'clock. All right. Or half past five there, one half hour. Awesome. Thank you for okay. your help. Okay. Have a great day. All right. Does anybody understand? No, but that's. Oh, I'm so okay. annoyed now. It's in that car and I fucking aced it, and now like I can't even reverse. So we're having some problem with the reverse situation. Trying to put it into neutral and then we'll push it back. I don't think we're doing we're doing too good over here with Liz. Okay. No, no they, they swapped. Did they? Scissor? Oh man, now I feel really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the problem here? It's this. It was God, a trick, that. damn it! It was a trick, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry man. You have to pull up on this on this thing. It was a trick! Oh, like okay. that. Shame. <laughs> Oh, we figured out how to get the car in reverse. <laughs> Crisis averted. Oh my god, we were both like a little bit grumpy, but like, well, like, we can't drive hell? that reverse. Oh, I was gonna do it. There's not really any car rental companies on St. Helena. So these are just some dude's cars he lent us for 12 pounds a day, and we were happy to have them. It's pretty exciting to go for a car ride. I haven't so been on a car ride in a while. Hello. Oh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is like when you drive down this street, it's constantly like, hello, oh, hello, oh, hello, because every car that you go past waves. And when you're walking up, the same thing. Hello. Ah, it's very friendly. Hello. She sounds like creepy, bro. Oh, this, <laughs> this is a dick park in the middle of the road. Out of Jamestown's deep ravine lead two narrow switchback roads, side path and ladder hill road. Carved into the cliffside, both are single width and a supreme test for backseat drivers. But accidents are almost unknown on St. Helena's 75 miles of winding, twisting roads, which call for low speeds and courteous driving. These roads are super, super narrow, and the rule is that Whoever is coming down has to give way to the person going up. So you have to watch, but luckily we're going up now. Yeah. But uh, on the way down, there's been like three cars. They have to pull over into these little 
side areas. But there's a car coming here. Hello. Thank you. Good morning. Sometimes people mess up and then you have to backtrack. Thank you. Good morning. There it is, the infamous St. Helena Airport. It doesn't work. Look at this place. <laughs> Should we go and try buying a ticket? <laughs> oh, he's parking a handicap. What a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the deal, bro? We found the St. Helena Airport and there's not a lot going on. It's kind of a funny story with the airport because this island has had no airport and they just recently built one but the only problem is they built it on this side of the island and there's huge cliffs on the side of the runway so there's a huge uh, wind shear problem and so they're not able to land any planes here. <laughs> She is, she is. No, no. Uh-uh. 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 It's here, so it's been built for like, I don't know how long. Spent a lot of money on it and uh, there's no flights. <laughs> the only way on and off the island is still by boat. But, uh, yeah. It's quite bizarre, huh? It's quite bizarre. To have a, I mean, who knows how much money this project costs. And yeah. It's just absolutely empty. Some point, though. I think they're planning on they have to do it with smaller planes. Oh, okay. That's what I heard. They're trying to find a certain type of plane and a certain carrier that can actually land in these wind shear conditions, but it's not going to be like a standard uh, jumbo jet or anything like that. So for now, it's or I just... could just be making all this up because this is just hearsay. I'm pretty sure it's true. Yeah, it's quite bizarre actually to just kind of have this beautiful new structure and then like <laughs> just nothing going on it looks pretty close huh <laughs> it's like seeing like a closed casino it's cool they have cannons at their airport though <laughs> i want to see what they've got in the gift shop <laughs> Now St. Helena is no longer the most inaccessible British territory. A few months after we left, the first successful commercial flight from South Africa landed using the 78-seat, Brazilian-built Embraer E190. Still looks a bit sketchy to me though. I think I'll stick to sailing. St. Helena is a 14 million year old, five kilometer high volcanic island. Near vertical cliffs cover most of the shore, but inland, this gives way to a lush interior. Within a few minutes driving, you find yourself in rolling fields of green. The roads twist and turn, and at times are super steep, but most of the island is accessible, and we were really excited to check out more. Oh, look at this guy. Imagine seeing you here. I know, right? <laughs> what are the odds? It's funny, isn't it? I think you may be fine. We met before. I literally saw the top half of your head when you were sitting there. <laughs> slammed yeah, on the brakes. I was like, oh! <laughs> what you getting, brother? A pint. A pint of skull. I ordered you one, too. Thank you. We haven't seen one of those in a while. Uh, I know. Skull. I don't have yeah. to get, like, just a single rum because I'm driving. Good. good choice. Good beer, man. I don't know what it, why it's so good, but it's just good. It's cold. It's cold. Good yeah. beer. Should we do one like looking at each other or like the bro pick yeah, up? Cheers. Smiling. <laughs> so cool, you can just drive right into it. I'm driving through the gates of High Knoll Fort. Jobless, but. Hainol Fort was built around 1790 and then reinforced by the Royal Engineers in 1874. It had 10 cannons ranging from 14 to 18 pounds, all trained on the valley 2,000 feet below to repel any would-be invaders and has a pretty commanding view. Hello. Hey, hello. This 
is definitely one of the best views in St. Helena so far. Crazy. Wow. <laughs> well, this is the powder room. Powder room? What do you mean powder room? They kept the gunpowder in here. Oh, right. that's so like cool. Huh? Said these walls are four meters thick to prevent explosion. And it also said that all the nails and everything were, were brass to avoid sparks. Really? Yeah. Who needs a, a light? Yeah, I can't see shit. Oh, there's a door right here. There's got to be ghosts in here, right? I mean, <laughs> this was used as a prison too. It's fucking terrifying, man. Get out of this place. There was never any invasion of St. Helena and the guns never fired in battle. Now the location is used to broadcast TV to the residents of the island. Those are some mighty fine corpusculars. Oh, look at the water! Oh. Yo! <laughs> Who's ready for some Chinese food? I'm so ready. I don't know if you're gonna focus. We've been invited tonight to have Chinese food and we haven't had Chinese food in I don't know how long since leaving Cape Town. Hello, how are you? We got invited by Mike, the dude that's the DJ here on the island. I'm not even through the door and my hat's being stolen. Mike, does that thing ever disappear? What's happening tonight, bro? Uh, what's happening tonight? Tonight is Chinese buffet food, set menu, not quite sure yet, Lydia wasn't too clear, and karaoke, which is awesome. Perfect. What else would you want on a Saturday night? I think it's a Monday. No, it's definitely the weekend because I wasn't at work today. And it's not Friday because I was out last night, so it's Saturday. Hello, welcome to karaoke. Do record in about an hour because that's when the singing comes out Mate, uh, and it gets horrible. So get drunk, get drunk. It's the only way through. Get After a few days exploring land, the waters surrounding St. Helena were calling. The only problem? The St. Helena government says you're not allowed to dive on your own here. The tourist office explained that hundreds of years of artifact-laden wrecks lay in these waters, and they want to prevent divers from taking any possible treasure home. We suspected it also had something to do with supporting the local economy. Either way, we were happy to pay for the chance to check it out. At 16 degrees south, St. Helena technically lies within the tropics, but currents coming from the south keep the waters cooler than normal. Coral is almost non-existent, even though it's about the same latitude as northern Madagascar, where the coral was vibrant. The 
bottom topography was pretty cool though, with clear water and some pretty decent fish life. We didn't see any sharks at all, which seems strange for such a clean and regulated place. When we asked the locals, they said they never saw sharks here, that they stayed out in deeper water or on the rougher, windward side of the island. At the end of our dive, we had one last treat in store for us. Rays are such a special experience, and it's actually pretty rare to dive with one this large. In fact, we've probably only had a dozen encounters like this over all the years of our scuba diving. Devil rays can actually get pretty big, exceeding five meters across and weighing over one ton. For such a massive animal, they're incredibly graceful and a bit shy as well. They're extremely intelligent and you can only approach them if they allow it. To be able to dive with these amazing creatures in their natural habitat is really an enlightening experience. So we just got back from our dive. It was pretty sweet. What did we see out there, Karen? A lot of fishies. We saw a devil ray, which was awesome, and he was really showing off. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. Good dive. Good dive. We saw some massive lobsters. Like huge. We just had a few people, just one of them. Wait. Good night, six six. It's always interesting to see the types of people that the sea attracts and can make getting to know your ever-changing neighbors quite entertaining. More next to Delos was a Belgium couple who had been cruising for the last few years. Their mission was to teach music and repair instruments everywhere they went. Jerome and Alexandra invited the crew over for a coffee one morning, and it didn't take long for us to realize that these two were on a pretty unique journey. We couldn't help but ask to sit down and do a little cruiser interview with them to get the full scoop. You guys are from Belgium, right? And didn't you get married like one week before you left or something like that? Exactly. We were just, yeah. One week, just the same week that we sold the car, we get rid of the apartment, we get rid of our jobs, and uh, when we get married, yes, it was a big week. That's a lot of changes in one week. <laughs> Yeah, so um, we were both uh, in uh, nice jobs that we really enjoyed and uh, we had a good time working with nice people, very exciting projects connected to music, so music has been our first interest for years. And um, the, the biggest surprise for a lot of people around us was that we would actually get rid of these jobs. Because leaving a job is, uh, 
while losing a chance to develop a career, you know, and to and money and, and money and colleagues. security and uh, all you know credit in the bank to buy a house, uh, to make children, to get old without having seen your life passing through. So the idea was actually to do something different and uh, to begin with a uh, with a new lifestyle, but staying quite connected to uh, the thing that were uh, really important to us. How can you leave such a job? It's the perfect job. Yeah, yes, the perfect job. They, they said it, the top job, uh, they said. <laughs> well, the thing is that in the world uh, where we live uh, nowadays, these days, it's, uh, even the perfect job is not that perfect, you know? And uh, it's not because on the paper, if what you do sounds like the perfect fairy tale, that it's uh, fulfilling your life. So uh, we had another big passion beside music, which was uh, sailing. Actually, we, we, we wanted to do something useful during the trip. So we didn't want to go and just enjoy life and, you know, be selfish in a, in a way, you know. We need to, to do something, you know, to bring something. But it's also, and I think that it's a bit what you, you guys do, it's also to share. Uh, to share, as they say in St. Helena, uh, the, the, the experience and um, to, to connect it to, um, to, to, to something and we choose music because music was actually our uh, professional background and so we thought that um, being present on that scene uh, on, on, under the, the music was probably the most uh, interesting thing we could do. Actually, you have a common language from the first minute mm -hmm. you meet the people, and so it makes um, it makes a connection to local people very easy. And I think a lot of boats, a lot of people sailing, have told us that for them it was sometimes not easy to to get a real relationship with the locals because you are sometimes seen a bit like you are Outsiders. a foreigner. You are sailing, you know, on a, a floating safe. You know, and yeah. uh, you what are you doing here? What do you want? Exactly. Or, you know. but so when you get there and you say, okay, let's play together, let's do something, let's make music, the ice is melting quite quickly. have a quite more quickly. intimate relationship. So can you imagine the, the gap between actually what they leave home, what is the situation, and then the chance that they have to get out of it and experience something that connects them not to misery, not to the disaster, the, the every, everyday disaster, but to something which is beauty, which is the pleasure to be together, to talk, to play, to exchange. And so we think that it's not just a, a light, uh, I mean, it's not just giving fun to, uh, to kids around the world, it's, it's, it's taking part to a process which is going from survival to a real and proper existence. And we, we really experienced that, like, that that way, and that's why we... And then we got a big surprise when we asked where they were off to next. Uh, wow. Hmm? No, it's No, no, we were supposed to leave to Brazil. Uh, oh, it's a good <laughs> well, no, we need to give you a big scoop. Okay. That actually, we will have a baby. Whoa! <laughs> and we just discovered that like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Wow! Oh, and so, congratulations! congratulations. congratulations. Uh, we need yeah. some more beer, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> not, not for her. Yeah, of course. No. After hugs and congratulations were shared, it was time to head over to the church to see what Jerome and Alexandra had been working on for us. This is exciting. This is Jerome's specialty. You're a specialist in organ, and they happen to have like a beautiful, a one. beautiful organ from what 1880 or something. 93 said? something. Yes. Wow. And it's original and it's cool. And it is. We're gonna awesome. work on a organ rendition of Ramukanji. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which should be cool. That's awesome. So back in the day, they used to have somebody that would have to pump that constantly full of air sitting there and just pumping and pumping and so pumping. So it's like a piano accordion. Mm, or no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good... Uh, it's like a flute that you would play with a keyboard. 
Oh, I see. Okay. You've, had, yeah. you've had a few days to listen to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you Actually, think? have you had enough beers? That's the first yeah. question. <laughs> as, a, as a present, when, we, when it's finished, we will give you the score. Cool. We wrote it down. So. Really? Oh. Yeah. And the funny stuff with that music is that actually it's a three minute, 30 second thing, and you can write it in a piece of paper like this. Yeah, same thing. It's just, just repeats and repeats and repeats. I don't know what it is. It just looks like lines to me. It looks like, like a different language. Yeah. Like <laughs> it's, it looks good. It's crazy to think like these guys from the Solomon Islands, you know, they're just sitting in their Nakamal drinking kappa and they have no idea. <laughs> their song is being played on an old organ in San Helena. Yeah, they're eating beef on that. Yeah, yeah. Supposed to be the result. That's nice. awesome. Man. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. That's really cool. And so after an incredible day together, of course we invited them back to Delos for a little moonshine and to have them leave their mark. There is Santa Claus here. Penguin man. <laughs> <laughs> here there is yeah, that's Brady with two other guys. Shields. That's a girl, that's Judy Shields. Yeah, uh, well, maybe there? Yeah. 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 Do you know, I suppose where they're going to have a look on us like every All the time. Yeah. 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 Oh, here? Yeah. yeah what do you think about one. that? Yeah, that's a good one. Nice. Duke. Oh. There we are! Yeah. And tell us forever. Welcome to the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Slash it. There we go. Florestan Slash. <laughs> you can't put a paragraph up there. There we go. Oh, nice. Yeah. Perfect. Now we have the spelling of. Oh, perfect. <laughs> up next, we explore the volcanic desert area of Sandy Bay. Oh, <laughs> Brian almost loses our beloved drone. And we hike to the highest peak on St. Helena. Like it? I like it a lot. Back out like a normal person. It's fine. It's just some abstract driving. Sally, huh? I want that cream of some young guy. Brian wants the cream of some young guy. <laughs> so it's his favorite Chinese dish. Oh, thank you. Like, oh yeah, I feel like I can feel the outline of a shirt. Can you give me breeze. a little strut? I can give you a strut, but they don't make them like they used to. Damn right, they don't. So we were trying to take a picture in peace, and I got this guy taking pictures of me, and this oh, girl me, taking pictures it. of him. You messed it oh, up. Oh, isn't that oh, funny? Shay. Isn't that funny? Can you say, hey, Brady, can you take a picture? <laughs> taking a picture? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Shame. Crazy eyes. Sorry? Does that really help? The goggles? Yeah. Yeah, they are awesome. You look a bit silly, but. Never. It does better. So, you guys want to go hiking or what? Yeah, let's do lots of wives. How long ready? Is it return, though? It's about two and a half hours, so if we leave now, we'll get back at dark. We'll be able to make it just in time. 
we're gonna head out there now. You got the camera on me, you're fucking lying. <laughs> 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 <laughs>